let's talk about the secret intelligence agencies that are hacking for the government. It might be surprising or a little bit weird because they usually operate in secrecy, but there are some cool websites out there where you can get a little bit of insight into how these agencies are operating. So let's learn a little bit more about the NSA, CIA and the German BND. This video is sponsored by Hextree.io. If you are a computer science student or a developer or even working already in security, check out Hextree.io. We also have a great Discord community and you can follow us on Twitter. So go check out Hextree.io. Now let's have a look at this tweet. You know, I'm all the time on Twitter just scrolling and reading and sometimes I'm clicking on accounts and reading some tweets from them and whatever. And suddenly I stumbled over this tweet, a job requirement for US based APT. APT stands for Advanced Persistence Threat. And that's basically the name you give for any big hacking group that are actually like hacking into some kind of system and persistently stay in there and exfiltrate data and you know look around and maybe deploy some ransomware or whatever. So APT is basically like the professional term for all these uh, big hacking uh, groups. And of course you have criminal APT groups that are doing ransomware. Um, you hear about them all the time in the news, but of course all the government agencies that are have basically state-sponsored hackers that are hacking you know companies and governments all over the world they are also referred to as APTs and when an antivirus company a malware research company or so finds a malware sample they try to attribute it is it from this APT group is it from this APT group or maybe a company got hacked and they figure out oh it's by this APT group so yeah so this is all the world of malware and it's pretty fascinating and I'm not really into it myself so I don't know really the names of all the different APT groups I just know that all these intelligence agencies also have APT groups and some of them might also be you know kind of like well known like people assume oh this APT group might be the US intelligence service or something like that. Anyway let's come back to this tweet now. So this person wrote this tweet and said look here here are some job requirements for US based APTs. So let's have a look at this. And surprise what is this website? It's of course the career website for the CIA. Now this doesn't tell us you know any details about the kind of operations that they are conducting but it does tell us hackers are working in these agencies and this job listing gives us a little bit of transparency what is the skill set or you know what is the kind of responsibilities that people have working in there. So here for example is a CIA job for a cyber operations officer and your responsibility here would be to gather intelligence from adversary systems and networks using advanced tools and techniques and tradecrafts. And I'm not sure if you realize you know what is written here because it you know sounds a little bit just like a job description but think about this gather intelligence so gather all kinds of data and information but from where from adversary systems and networks how do you get any kind of data and information from systems and networks you obviously have to hack them so obviously this is talking here about hacking into adversary systems and networks and using then some tools and various techniques and tradecrafts and whatever you come up with maybe you know some paid tools or maybe developed inside of the CIA and use those to extract information out of these adversary networks so here publicly very clearly the CIA is saying yep we are hacking adversary systems Systems. And here's another position, the technical researcher. The technical researcher will apply technical expertise, innovative mindset and adaptive imagination to enable CIA to excel in a rapidly changing world of emerging and disruptive technologies. Again, sounds like, you know, oh my gosh, okay, so you do some technology stuff, but what kind of technologies are you researching? About the job, researchers will identify and mitigate risks and threats from adversarial use of EDTs. So basically they are talking here, okay, we are looking also, you know, we want to research and understand what, you know, outside threats, other governments or also criminal groups, like maybe why they would or how they would target us. But at the same time, you should also help develop and use these disruptive technologies to shape the future of technical collection of foreign intelligence. Basically, however, you know, the internet and computer world evolves, the CIA wants to make sure they are still in a position where they can collect uh, intelligence from foreign um, systems or foreign intelligence. And it's a big company, so there are lots of jobs. Here's a technical targeting analyst. Technical targeting analysis evaluate technical and scientific data to provide insights that unite technical operations and development activities to maximize intelligence collection strategies. So 
this is a position where you are analyzing, you know, based on, you know, the data you have on current running operations and also, you know, developments going forward to ensure that you maximize the intelligence that can be gathered. I can only speculate what that means, but it could mean, you know, maybe you realize people start using this one kind of hardware or software. So if we are able to uh, subpoena that company we get a lot of foreign data or if we are able to sit on this internet connection we could see all the military traffic whatever you know I don't know I'm just speculating what this could mean but yeah there are tons of jobs of course including also developers who helped you know developing custom solutions to make sure that the CIA can collect all the different data it's all there in the public. And of course, it's not only the CIA that is looking for jobs. Let's have a look at the NSA. Here, for example, is a position for an exploitation analysis. Let's see what the responsibilities are of this. NSA stays at the forefront of cybersecurity. NSA operates innovative solutions to gather foreign intelligence via computer network exploitation. They are just literally, you know, saying, yeah, we are hacking some computer networks and systems to gather intelligence. Like they are just saying it there. And so what exactly are you doing as an exploitation analyst? You will analyze all source data to evaluate foreign target opportunities. You will evaluate foreign target networks. You will develop strategies against those target networks. How could you maybe attack or exploit them? You maybe work with operators. Um, I'm not sure if these are internal operators or maybe external companies that you also uh, work with to plan then the attack on these foreign networks. I don't know, it's super fascinating just to read about, you know, all the different stuff that these governments are doing. I mean, in some way we know what they are doing. You know, we hear the news about different activities by states. We hear about different APT groups where we assume they are from certain governments that do certain things. We also hear a lot of negative news, like some government hacked some journalists or so. But for the most part, you know, I mean, it's intelligence work. It's very, you know, under the radar. They obviously don't want lots of attention. So of course, a lot of it happens, you know, more in secrecy. There's not much we know exactly what they are doing, but that doesn't mean they are not doing it. They are clearly doing it. They are engaging it. Government agencies are out there hacking stuff. But I think what's important to mention here before you get like scared of this, you are not the target. This is about foreign intelligence. This is about understanding how the world works. You sitting in your room, you are not interesting to some government. If you are not planning to storm the capital to, you know, take over the government or, or planning some other kind of terrorist attack, then you as an individual, you are not interesting. What's interesting to them are, of course, companies. You know, they want to understand maybe where weapons get delivered to what kind of behind the door trade deals some kind of foreign companies are doing are they gearing up for a war you know is there a military movement do they buy some kind of military equipment where you can assume oh my gosh something is boiling up over there all this kind of intelligence stuff that then politicians can use you know when they do like global politics stuff however if you work in a big global company that does important stuff like in the defense industry or in germany you may work you know for a company that um, develops important industrial controllers or so, then of course you are more of an interesting target, but not you personally, more like the work stuff, you know, the work stuff you have access to. That's why you still should be careful when opening an email attachment because at work you might be targeted because, you know, you have access to very interesting company data. But you personally very likely will not be any victim uh, of that. And that's why I'm like really not worried at all about any kind of intelligence stuff. Like I, I, I do nothing. Like I just sit here and make YouTube videos. So I found this very interesting because actually I have not looked at job requirements for the CAA or the NSA before, but as a German, I have looked at the job listing from the BND. So that's like the German Foreign Intelligence Service. And I do remember having seen some job posts that I thought were you know, equally interesting. So if you are German, then this is going to be interesting now. But when I went back to the job listing of the BND, I noticed that the cool jobs were not listed there anymore. So I went to the web archive and looked there again. And here I found them in 2022. Check this out. Sorry, this is German, but I will kind of translate, but it's kind of also understandable. If we look through the job listings, for example, here they are looking for penetration tester and CNE operators. And now you are wondering what does CNE stand for? It stands for Computer Network Exploitation. Includes enabling actions and intelligence collections via computer networks that exploit data gathered from target or enemy information system or networks. So here it is. The BND is actively looking for hackers to hack systems and gather intelligence. Like even though I know that that's what intelligence agencies do, right? We know it from the movies, they do spy stuff. 
but at the same time you never hear about them so you feel like it's not happening but of course it's happening and yeah there are jobs here they are I also tried to find the description of this job exactly so you can see what they are looking for. And fortunately, I couldn't find that in the web archive, but I found some similar job listings in the archive. So let's have a look at that one. So for example, they were also looking for a signal analyst specifically for applications on mobile phones. And sorry, yeah, this is German, but I'm gonna translate. So your task is to analyze the communication with a focus on apps running on mobile phones. And you have to develop a new analysis methods to analyze these uh, apps. And I'm not exactly sure what this job is about. Um, it does sound like you have to do reverse engineering and analyzing apps. So maybe it's a specialized position. Let's assume there's some kind of operation and you find like this weird Android app used in, I don't know, some kind of shipment tracking or something. and you are in that network and now you want to understand how that app works so you can better analyze and figure out and extract all the data so you get that app and then you give it over to this person and then this person like analyzes it and reverse engineers it and with that information you can then plan your further operations or something i don't know this is just me guessing this is what i imagine this job could be but i'm obviously not super sure um, here as well Another job they had was, for example, here being a system developer in the area of signal analysis. And here, of course, your tasks are some kind of data and network analysis. And in the team, you also have to develop new creative solutions, um, you know, for gathering, I don't know, network data stuff. I don't know. Also, there is, I think it's a teacher position, referent, I'm not quite sure, about social media intelligence. So here they are specifically talking about uh, planning and coordinating the intelligence works on social media. Now, this position is apparently not necessarily an IT position. So in the requirements, it doesn't say you need to be a computer scientist. So I don't think it's actually, you know, the technical position uh, doing the social media gathering. But reading this, I assume this exists as well. They are probably also scraping or parsing or evaluating anything posted on social media, trying to track, you know, maybe some for, I don't know what exactly they are doing, of course, but, um, yeah, so this is also a thing. So yeah, it's quite interesting what you can learn about intelligence agencies just being open here in the public. Again, for me, mostly the fascinating thing is that you know they exist. You know, I know that the NSA and the CIA exist and I'm sure they have jobs and do stuff. But because you never really hear about stuff, you also feel like nothing is happening and what do they really do? Very rarely you hear about hacks going wrong, they got detected, but of course, if they are not detected, if they do their work well, then you never hear about what they are doing. And based on this job posting, you see they are looking for people to work in this exact area, and so they are obviously doing this kind of job. I, I don't know, it's pretty fascinating. I said everything I could say about this now. Now, on the Live Overflow main channel, I did make a video once about every device can be hacked. And there I actually talked to some exploitation specialist experts on their opinion on whether every device can be hacked. And I feel like that's a good follow-up video after this video if you wanna learn more about, you know, how these intelligence agencies are maybe hacking, you know, different devices. I will obviously link it in the description below. And if you wanna learn all the skills necessary to join, I don't know, these kind of jobs or just a job in a regular company and maybe doing some security stuff, check out hackstreet.io. This is where we are creating online courses around uh, web hacking but also reverse engineering and also mobile security we are still slowly building up the courses and we are currently in beta access so maybe when you check it out it's not open yet but you can follow us on twitter and join our discord to hear when we are opening up for the public anyway check out hextree.io and if you want to see more videos check out these here and otherwise uh, see you soon